I'm kind of excited about these because I, I have no idea what I'm in for, but I have Lay's Wavy Cuban Sandwich. I can't say that I've ever had a Cuban sandwich before. I'm kind of sad that my first introduction to a Cuban sandwich is going to be through naturally flavored potato chips. But here we are. I'm going to make a point to get a real Cuban sandwich. But for today, I got Cuban sandwich in a bag. The ingredients aren't telling me a whole lot. Cheese, garlic powder, brown sugar. That's interesting. Let's see what we have. Oh, okay. See, I knew this was going to be weird. Sometimes you try to mix too many things in once, and I feel like there's too many ingredients here. Like when you try to put a sandwich into a chip, something's going to suffer. It's going to make this mold of ingredients and flavors, and it's just not going to be good. This smells like... A vomit stained car seat. Honestly, that's my first interaction when I have children, so I know that smell very well. It's not it's not very appealing. But smells can be deceiving, as the saying goes. Let's take a look here. Alright, first impressions, the chip. Good shape. I don't really get the point of the wavy cut per se. I don't know, is it is it ridges to hold more flavor more flavor powder in between i don't know although my favorite chip of all time which they don't make anymore is the pringles ridges man i used to love those and then they don't make them anymore now they make pringles wavy which is not the same thing bring back the ridges and then we can talk other than that no deal all right the chip looks good not super colorful doesn't look like a sandwich, doesn't smell like a sandwich, does it taste like a sandwich? Let's see. I knew it. I knew it. It's the pickle. The pickle overpowers everything. They were like, let's make a sandwich. They make sure you put the pickle flavor at 99%, everything else, doesn't matter. Throw some salt and vinegar in there, it'll be good. These might as well be pickle chips, man. Like you make a sandwich, same thing with uh, like burger flavored chips I've had before. It just tastes like pickle, which is not necessarily a bad thing if you like pickles. I'm indifferent about pickles. Pickles and me, if we saw each other walking down the street, we wouldn't even make eye contact. It's like, keep it moving. We don't hate each other, but we're not friends. We don't really talk. It's just like, if I see you, I see you. We tolerate each other. So these chips, not hitting the spot for me, but I'm not going to call them trash. I'm not going to say they're bad. I don't think it's probably a good representation of a Cuban sandwich. I feel like not having had one. I'm not going to judge a Cuban sandwich based off the chip, but it, it, it's a good... It seems like a good party chip. A bowl of these, and people will filter in and out and have one or two, but it's something you can like just scarf down. Not for me, but maybe for you. I mean, we all have different tastes. That's the thing about these reviews. My least favorite chip might be your favorite chip. So all I can do is tell you how I feel about it. I'm not making any final judgments unless it's like absolutely hideous. This is just neutral. It tastes like pickles. Okay, the more I have the pickle flavor, it starts to diminish and then it just turns into like Amazon cardboard box flavor. So it's not necessarily better. Um, I expected more. I kind of wanted to be like kicked in the mouth with flavor, but instead I got like a tap on the shoulder a flavor, or maybe like someone, someone too close to your face, like a breath in your face, a flavor. That's what these reminds me of. It's like Cuban, Cuban sandwich breath flavored chips. It's probably a better name for these. But again, they're all right. I wouldn't buy them again, but if they seem interesting to you, go for it. That's all I really have to say about these.